Yes, I am welcome class. Uh, so today what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a question and I'm going to give you 20 minutes to work on it and then we're going to discuss it. Uh, I want you to consider um, these key concepts when you're doing it. Um, consider residual theory, capital structure and also the capital budget. Okay. So um, after you're done, I'm going to ask you one by one to write down on the board by step. Is that fine? Okay. Yeah. Alright, thank you. Okay, class. Uh, have you guys uh, finished answering the questions? Yes. yes. All right. So um, before we start actually answering the questions, let's lay out the information that are needed to answer the questions first. So anyone want to volunteer? Okay. okay. So for the capital budget, there is two possible budget, which is two million and three point five million. Okay, that's right. And anyone else want to add? They also give the possible return in one point five million. Um, anything more? Um, so debt to, to equity ratio is 40%, so means the capital structure is 40% debt and 60% equity. Okay, that's, that's, that's correct. That's cool. yes. okay. So what is the first step that we have to do for this question? Yes. Uh, we need to calculate the equity, the portion of equity first. Um, okay, so who can give me the portion of equity invested in capital budget 2 million? 1.2 uh, And how about for the 3 million capital budget? Uh, 2.1 oh, okay. okay So what is the next step we have to do? We need to minus uh, equity portion from the return earnings Okay, so the So by minusing uh, equity portion from retail earnings, what would we get for the two million capital budget? We will get the residual amount. Um, so what's the amount? So for two million is zero point three million. Is zero point three million, and the next one is mil. Mil. All right. So what does this amount represent? The expected amount for. Correct. Um, do you guys know why it's nil here? Because the equity portion is more than it is. Alright, okay. So, we can explain. So, um, the company follows the residual theory policy. So, when you're using residual theory, uh, it, um, it is, um, it, it, when a company uses residual theory for their dividend policy, they will give out of dividend only when all invest um only when they have excess amount of earnings after my after reminiscing all the possible investment that they could put into. So is that okay? Okay. okay. Alright. So now let's discuss about the second question. Um, basically the second answer is asking you guys why were the dividend amount different for the two capital budget? So anyone wants to answer that? So, uh, the answer is according to residual policy, mm -hmm. dividend is paid out if there are excess amount after all investment opportunity has been deducted. Mm -hmm. based, based on the uh, answer in question A, we can see the higher the capital budget, the higher the equity portion, yes. and the lower the dividend amount after we deduct uh, the equity portion from the return earning. And uh, as the return earning and the equity ratio remain the same. Okay, class. Uh, I'm very um, impressed with all of your answers. Um, they're all good. Um, so I think that's all for today's class. Um, we can dismiss. Thank you.